ever considered rebuilding your engine into a monster? In this episode, we'll look at the 165 horsepower H Performance engine and how it compares to the Rotax 915. We are about to stall, and this is our adventures in and around South Africa. In part 1 we looked into ways to get more horsepower for our kit folks. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll link it in the description below. And in this video, we are going behind the scenes to see how Edge Performance builds a 165 horsepower engine and we address some of the concerns that go along with performance engines. After John disassembled and created the Rotax 914, we sent the engine to Norway where Thomas and his team received the created engine and started to swing their magic wands to turn our 914 into a monster of an engine. Hello everyone, uh, so we've just received the uh, Rotax 914 turbo from the guys down from South Africa about to stall. We thought it was about time to give those guys some proper power and we're going to turn this 914 into a beast. So we'll be doing a full 912 STI conversion. 155 horsepower and I think that Kit Fox is going to be awesome. One thing that makes Edge Performance exceptional is that they don't just install big ball cylinders, intercooler and a turbo and whoop de doo there we go. They completely disassemble the engine and do a thorough cleaning before they do a complete rebuild. So we've uh, disassembled uh, the heads, the, the most of the engine, so it's about time now to get the cylinders off, the pistons off and split the case and see how it looks inside. This engine is not a Rotax anymore. It's getting reborn as an Edge Performance engine. Before we continue with the build, we'd like to address a few concerns that many of you have raised about the reliability of performance modified engines like this one. Like we mentioned, the Edge Performance engine consists of a fully rebuilt engine from the ground up. They start off by precision welding the crankshaft to make it a solid one piece crank to handle the increased power. Then they machine the crankcase half and install piston oil squirters which job it is to keep the pistons cool under high load. It's worth mentioning that they are the only performance manufacturer who machines and installs their own design piston oil squirters to help keep the pistons cool and prevent boof detonation. They change the overload clutch settings in the gearbox and install forged pistons with 8.3 to 1 compression ratio which has teflon coated skirts and ceramic coated crowns. This engine started out with a 79.5mm bore and they converted it to the ULS 84mm bore. So it's a big bore 914 but it's not the 88 to 92mm cylinders. They then add their fully sequential fuel injection system with lambda sensor and ECU that has auto-tune features and individual injected trim to balance out any EGT spread. Then came the upgraded turbo and turbo exhaust and it was time to tune, break in and test the engine for 99 minutes on their test bench. where you might be concerned that it's not made for this amount of power is the crankshaft and the gearbox. What they do to the gearbox is kind of a trade secret, but basically they increase the preload of the clutch, install oil squirters for the prop shaft and a few other things. They've stressed their cranks and gearboxes to well above 200 horsepower and broken a few so they know exactly where the limits are. More than 250 of these engines have been built since 2006 and none of them have failed. Some of them even have more than 1,500 hours, so they have a perfectly good track record. Before we compare the two engines, I'd like to mention that we have grown by a lot of subscribers since part 1 and we want to thank each and every one of you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so as it really helps us to grow and make more of these videos. And if you ring the little bell icon, you'll be the first to know when part 3 is released. 
Because this is a performance engine, they don't set a TBO. It's run on condition like any other experimental engine. But the expected TBO is around 1200 hours. It is however recommended best practice to do leak down tests and magnetic plug checks every 50 hours. So how did they get 165 horsepower? The upgrade they do is 155 horsepower at 45 inches of manifold pressure. But with the custom mapping done on this engine, they were able to achieve 165 horsepower at 50 inches of manifold pressure. The time at this max power is around 5 minutes, but they recommend to pull back once airborne to around 44 inches of manifold pressure. The question on everybody's mind is how does it compare to the Rotax 915? So we look at horsepower, weight and cost. Before we compare the two, we want to be clear that we are not trying to talk down any one of the two engines. And calling the Edge engine a 915 killer, we merely mean as a joke. With that said, the one-on-one -on -one comparison is as follows. The Rotax 915 has 141 max horsepower and 135 horsepower max continuous with a fuel flow of around 34 liters per hour and it weighs about 186.4 pounds. The Edge Performance engine has 165 max horsepower and 135 max continuous with a fuel flow of around 35 liters per hour and it weighs about 149.9 pounds. When it comes to cost, the 915 costs about $37,000 and the Edge conversion which we did costs around 14,500 euros or 15,786 US dollars. And if you buy it new, 29,500 euros or 32,117 US dollars. Whichever of the specifications are most important is up to you and your mission. We opted for the higher horsepower and takeoff for our backcountry mission. All right, so uh, about to stall the engines, uh, it's a wrap. So we got it all tested, built, created now. It's ready to ship, go out to South Africa. So all that's left for us to do now is to put the lid on. And we have DHL coming in to pick it up. And it'll be air, air fried out to South Africa. And uh, I guess all that's left to say for us now is welcome to the family. In part 3, we'll go into the installation and modifications we had to make, as well as the first start and the final weight. So please consider poof, subscribing, as it really helps us to make these videos for your entertainment. If you have any questions we haven't addressed yet, please leave them in the comments below and we will get back to you. Or if you just have suggestions on how we can improve. Smash that like button if that's something you're into and remember to dream big, fly high and live the adventure. See you next time.